Alright, gonna try something uh, new this time. Uh, how do I do this, Jimmy? I don't usually play seeds, but uh, okay, let me change the music real quick. So anyway, uh, playing a seed of a player that was kind of running into some roadblocks, as we all do, um, but I sort of, I could feel his pain through, through his frustration. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and give this a shot. Okay, I think that volume should be fixed now. Uh, so yeah, he posted a seed. Uh, I'm just gonna try to explain all the decisions I make as I go along this, and uh, hopefully this can be a uh, good learning type video. So it's a cent uh, Covenant 19, so a few of the 25 pains that you have to experience won't be present, but still, you know, most of them are there. Uh, so, really quick, uh, what I like to look at at the start of a run. Um, so I believe, if I remember correctly on your the post of the user that kind of sent this seed in, is that they would kind of stomp through the runs but lose to Seraph like pretty often. Um, which, you know, is not that uncommon for people to experience as they're kind of learning this game, right? Because Seraph uh, presents challenges that you don't really find at other points in this game. So, um, a lot, you know, I'll, I look at every boss here, but especially you want to pay attention to the version of Seraph that you're up against. Like, as far as these are concerned, like Talos, the Stunner, all I need to know there is that on my third ring, the boss is going to stun my frontliner every other, uh, you know, one to every other three fights, depending on if I just build on one floor or not. Uh, not fights, but you know, waves or whatever. That's not too big of an issue, I don't really need to prepare too much for that. Um, this fell version, spell shield, is pretty easy, so really nothing there specific I need to plan for. But Seraph the Temperant definitely have uh, things you have to plan for. So, real quick, just want to say, every Seraph... I, I have a Seraph guide out there, uh, let me just plug that. Um, it goes over every Seraph uh, and very specific answers you need for each one. Uh, but for this one particular, te Temperant, um, there's going to be two things you got to prepare for. So it has a unique unit. Well, it's not unique now that the patient is here, but uh, both patient and serve the temperant have these shade wings. The, that's a backline unit that has 5 health and deals 30 damage, uh, 15 by 2. They actually even gain more if they happen to slay a unit, but essentially they do 30 damage and have 5 health, and that's going to ravage your, uh, your, way, your floor if you don't have a ton of health. Uh, or particularly good consistent AoE. Definitely consistent AoE is the way to deal with those units. So, um, really what you want, uh, between every clan has its own answers, but these two clans actually have some great answers. Um, Hellhorn has Vent and uh, Molting it. Either one of those are going to be great. Uh, if you get either one of them, you want to put Endless on them. Once you do that, well, with Vent you're going to need plus 10 damage as well. With Molting him, all you need is endless. Either one of those are going to be great. With, uh, 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 what is this? Why, do I, why am I blanking on the name? Awoken. Um, you have uh, Glimmer, which is also just as good as Vent, really. You just need the plus 10 damage upgrade on it and a holdover, and you're going to be golden for this fight. Um, so those are huge things you got to hunt for. Without them, uh, there's backup plans, you know, if you don't end up finding Holdover, you can always just still have it, or if you don't find Glamour or any of these AoE things, there is Torch. Um, you know, with Seraph the Temperant, you're typically going to have two of those backline uni uh, units, so Torch won't be able to clean all of them up, but it will at least be able to clean one of them up. If you can get all of your torches with, you know, plus 10 damage or the plus 20 damage you consume, that'll go a long way. Those are options. Other options also are like sweeper units, though I don't think they're great against the Temperant, just because it's pretty hard to, you know, you need the quick upgrade, so you have to spend one upgrade on quick. Then also you need to keep their damage up. Um, 
you know, using stuff like Razor Sharp Edge to counteract that sap. And that kind of sucks to put it on that sweeper unit when you could have put it on maybe a better DPS unit, like you're in this, in this case, the uh, Hellhorn Champ. Um, or like an Animus of Will would be like ideal. Usually you can find that. It's, uh, it's an uncommon banner unit, which is the most common tier of banner unit. And between the, the two of these, I think Awoken banner units are way better. So we'll be hunting Awoken units for sure here. Um, you can always look at your, kind of get a game plan for here. So probably first we're going the Merchant of Steel here. Try to get that Awoken. Uh, yeah, we'll see. Um, but anyway, I uh, don't want to belabor this too much in the intro, but really trying to reiterate that if you're having troubles with Seraph, it all starts from the very start uh, with with things you need to be on the lookout for to actually add to your arsenal to be able to deal with Seraph the Temperant. So we talked about the unit that it presents. The other thing is the sap. The sap can be pretty brutal, especially since typically with Hellhorned, a uh, very strong strategy is to build a super floor. And I don't think uh, sap necessarily makes you want to shy away from that, but what it does mean is you're going to have a lot of sap on one floor because he's going to be sapping that floor every turn. Um, so we actually have some great cards to counteract that. Razor Sharp Edge is going to be the best one. Uh, so those three sap, it's going to be minus six to your damage. But this will completely nullify that while still applying some scaling. So we may even want to put like a razor sharp edge on holdover. Um, that would not be the worst thing in the world either. So really just glimmer and attack buffing things. Rage is also great for counteracting that. You know, one stack of rage counters one stack of sap. So if you can apply more rage than sap, then you're golden there. That's kind of just what it comes down to in that regard. And then of course just the other standard stuff to be able to beat Seraph, you know, you want your, uh, your, um, what do you call it, uh, frontliner, you need a good frontliner, you need hopefully some like regen or armor, in the case of both these clans, that's what's going to be your frontliner kind of stuff to apply. Uh, I don't really want to make my... If I had started with spikes, I might just go in on Wrathful here, but you don't know if you're going to get spikes or not. And Wrathful is still pretty good, but I don't really want to rely on... If, if you go Wrathful, you're kind of wanting him to be your frontliner, and I'm not really feeling that necessarily. Brawler seems to make more sense here. Uh, typically, you're not going all the way in on Brawler. You just pick it once and then probably go like the Slay route. Or we could go Wrathful. Like, if I do end up getting spikes, I could maybe transition to Wrathful. Though, it is pretty tough against Seraph the Temper, and I don't know. Uh, we'll see. Um, anyway, uh, you know, with these Razor Sharp Edges and all the rage we got, it, it, this will be a pretty strong start with the Multi Strike. Um, that just means all those scaling cards that we have double dip, so to speak. So we'll do that. Uh, Roots. Split or Refracting, interesting pair of choices, because actually they both kind of do the same thing, which is prevent pyre health from, you know, prevent your pyre from dying. Uh, refracting Lenses, we do have one consumable card off the bat, usually you don't, um, but that's nice that we do have one, you know, off the bat that we can actually get value out of that if we do go that, which I probably am, uh, honestly. But I'd like to explain why, I guess. Uh, really, I guess, Root Split, you know, it roots them before, so it gives you an extra round to attack them before they hit your Pyre. So you're basically saving Pyre health at the cost of your own unit's health. I'm not a huge fan of that compared to this, where there really is no cost for saving your Pyre health here. And this just keeps growing in value as the run goes on. It allows you to be just that much more aggressive with Trials and... Uh, cavern events that cost your health and whatnot, like, you basically will be on full health for most of the run uh, if you take Refracting Lenses. So, I find Refracting Lenses just a very useful artifact in general. We'll just, we're, we're gonna take that for sure. Uh, so, Mark Invasion, usually a very easy trial to take. It's hardest in this, I would say, um, because there's not, like, a safe floor to go in it. A lot of times you can take it and just go in at the bottom floor, since the Ring 1 uh, people come in with so little damage, but this one actually comes in with a lot of damage since it's clergyman. Uh, we have torches that will kind of help with those, and other than that, we do have razor sharp edge uh, that can be used offensively. 
which honestly we probably will do. I only need like one on my Hellhorn Prince to take on this boss, or at least do enough damage to it. Um, so let's do that. Oh yeah, let's do the Mark of Invasion. We should be able to handle it. We'll set up at the top. I, uh, the nice thing about setting up at the top here is these guys, their rage completely is gone by the time they get to the top, so really just surviving this first little group here is what we need to do. I would have liked to see a train steward in my opener, but it's fine. We don't need it. I can use this to scale a little bit, and not that I need that scaling, but if I can keep the rage going until the boss, that'd be good. I actually am going to use this offensively here. It saves me three pyre health and five damage on my Hellhorn Prince, so that's kind of what's going on there. Um, so I'm definitely going to have to do this, probably. I could save myself three health by doing that, but I could also just do this and get the gold. That is a lot of gold. Um, let's do that, huh? Yeah? I feel like that's good, right? Yeah, I'll do that. I, I could do it up here to save myself a little bit of health, but I don't think it's necessarily worth it. And we'll just keep these stewards cycling back to the deck, because if I do cycle back to the deck, I do want to be able to play them in front of my dude. And put you down. Um, and you down, I guess. Get some scaling there. I suppose I don't actually need... I could probably just kill one of these, I guess. I don't know, it's probably probably not too worth it to tease any of that out. So let's get this, we, like I said, I want to keep that rage going. Um, I can heal this guy back, but I think I could do that. I'm not too interested in the little one damage chips that come in here. Um, could heal him, stack up some regen. I think I'd I think I just want to kill these things. Like, the only thing I can foresee killing us here is just having to chunk through these things. I may get unlucky and, like, not get enough torches to chunk through the rest of them, so I'm just going to chunk through them so that all of my uh, Hellhorn damage is not wasted on, like, these clergymen, and just all of it goes in here. And we'll kill the final one here, get a final little thing of heal there. 77, so this is where I can apply my scaling. That goes a long way. And actually, since I'm one short here, this does three damage, but he would do five, so I might as well just do that. Probably won't be that relevant, but you might as well do the maximum value play if you can. Uh, and... Yeah, like I said, Molting Imp is definitely a route to take on the Seraph the Imp. Uh, temperance stuff. I'm also, I don't really like Hellhorn units. I like Awoken a lot more. And the Merchant of Steel. You know, you might fight the sweeper version of this boss. Um, you know, you got a one third chance of that. Uh, Merchant of Steel makes it so even if we don't end up with a tank unit here, we can just add health to them to be able to guarantee that they beat that boss. Uh, Welder Helper would also guarantee that, but I think Welder Helper. I don't know. It's okay. Um, it's pretty good, but Melting Imp, given that we have tam Temperant, I think I think if I wasn't facing Temperant, I might pick Welder here. So this is kind of where knowing which Seraph you have can kind of guide your choices sometimes. Like, Melting Imp, I think, just makes sense here. Plus, I'm going the Merchant of Steel, so I could just get Endless on him if Endless comes up. Uh, yeah, I don't know about any of these, honestly. Um... Because Restoration Detonation, we don't have a huge need for it. Like, yeah, we might get a hollow, but we might not. Without getting a hollow, it kind of sucks. It really is only good with hollows, in my opinion. Uh, it's otherwise a pretty dead draw often. Uh, Sting is okay, but I don't, don't know if I see huge reason to add it to this deck. Maybe, I don't know. Um, and then... Sharpen. It would allow me to go the Wrathful route, I guess. Um, 
Though, I don't know, I, I'm not feeling wrathful so much against Seraph of Temperance. You do still need to apply it twice for it to really work, and then, even then, since we'd only be able to put two... I, I'm not even guaranteed to get Wrathful. Um, I don't know, Sharpen is a little over-costed, I would say, for what it does, unless you have a really good reason to add it. Uh, I would say this is probably a skip. Don't be afraid just to skip if none of them are, like, super enticing. I don't think... You, you could have took Sharpen there and been fine with it, I think. Uh, so like I said, we're going this route. I like Awoken Banner units better, and the Merchant of Steel is just a safer pick going in here. So you should check the Merchant before. Uh, so Large Stone could be good on like Animus of Will for sure. Otherwise, I don't typically like Large Stone. Um, and I'm probably definitely not taking these ones. Unless it is, if it's Animus of Will, I got like perfect two upgrades for it. So let's see what we get. Okay, these are both technically tanks. Um, Hus can... S they're both can be served as a swing unit. Uh, but Awoken really probably wants to be a tank. Husk works as a fine tank too. I mean, honestly, without any big heals right now, Husk is a better tank for me. It also is a sweeper, but I don't know that I need sweeper. I would rather just put this on Endless versus putting Husk on quick. Like I said, the sap would mean I'd have to spend a lot of damage on it, or like damage scaling on it. What is with the volume on this music? Can it... Okay, um, I don't know. I You could pick either one here and be fine. I might... I might go husk. Blech. Maybe, maybe Awoken. Um, it technically would be a better... Shitty thing is, like, I don't know if I'm gonna get Hidden Passage or not. I could also get Restoring Retreat or Tireless Climb. Either one of those is gonna allow me to go over the pip limit, but... If I do Awoken Hollow, I probably don't want to do Large Stone, because 4 pip is kinda ridiculous. Kind of leaning toward Huskermit here, I think. Yeah, let's go Huskermit. Um, just because uh, now I can actually do this large stone and I get every stat that I need, which is pretty good. I won't use any of these, but I I could reroll for health. Nah, I don't know what I'm going to do with this unit yet. I know that it's definitely fine for the early game. That's all. I, I may just purge it later if I get better cards. For now, I'm just going to get rid of the steward. Keep the rest of the gold. This should be no problem. Our husk can solo all this stuff. Um, and, uh, and even beyond the sweeper, just the spikes is kind of like a sweeper light almost. Um... Yeah, this uh, and, and unit draft is good here. Who knows? Maybe we get a better tank option, um, and maybe we get, uh, or just like an animus of will or something like a good DPS option. What do I want to do here? Should I just? I should probably just put the rage on this because by the time the boss rolls around, my backliner isn't going to be too relevant. I might as well just put all the scaling on husk here. Put him here. Well, Torch is definitely going there. We want that gold. There'll be a lot of damage hitting my husk, but it just doesn't matter. The the spikes uh, boss really doesn't do much. Um, yeah. I guess I can save myself some damage here. And just heal, I guess. No real sense to play those Scourge cards, because they don't really do much negative to you. I could use this, like, offensively, but I've actually... Since this... I don't want this guy to do 6 to my Pyre, so I can just simply do this twice here. And then he's dead. I'll we'll just heal him, I guess. This will be pretty easy. This, this guy will stand no chance against how much stats I have here. 
whole thing up is pretty good here. I guess I'll just do that. Torch isn't too relevant there. And we'll just heal. It's game over for this boss. As you can see, Husk is pretty great uh, early game. Granted, you know, Awoken Hollow would have done just fine there too. Oh, and now we have Hidden Passage. Perfect. So, so Welder Helper is definitely out of the question now because we can't, you know, because we took that large stone, we can't fit Welder Helper on the same floor, so he's not really that useful to us anymore. Marcia Seals would be good if we already had a Hidden Passage. Um, hopefully we see another one. You could argue that maybe you want to take it and just bank on getting Hidden Passage because it's more common of a card, but I'm just going to lock in Hidden Passage. Uh, as it stands, we don't like need March of Shields, but we do really want the Hidden Passage. Oh, and perfect, we got our Glimmer. So, like I said, uh, and these are uh, Sharpen I wouldn't take. Vine Grasp, if I didn't see a Glimmer, could be an option here. It's a pretty good card, but Glimmer is just the way to go. Like against Seraph the Temperant. We'll, we'll be hunting hard uh, at these Merchant of Magics. Um, hunting hard for Holdover and the plus 10 damage is basically what we're looking for there. Oh, perfect Animus of Will. So, I don't really like Animus of Speed um, that much. Like, he, she would work as a backliner, but Animus of Will is just so much better. You know, you think about it, like, each of these Razor Sharp Edge represents 30 damage per play, um, which is going to be really good against Seraph the Temperant. We can focus on just slamming all the scaling into Animus of Will. Hopefully we can get some health upgrades on her. Hel when you have Razor Sharp Edge, health is actually a great, like Battle Stone's really good, a Large Stone is good. We can afford Large Stone, especially now that we have that Hidden Ascension, uh, and just 25 health. Plus 10 damage is alright too as a second upgrade, but you don't you want to lock in the health first. That way you can actually play your Razor Sharp Edges on her and just scale her out of control. Rail beater, if we didn't have a tank already, like he's pretty much on the level of Husk as a tank, just a decent tank, but really nothing beyond that. So we'll take Animus of Will here just because it is really the best backline option you can find, in my opinion. She's really good. Um, we could look for another Awoken banner unit here, or we could just go for the Merchant of Steel and get Pyre Health. Artifacts, also pretty good, uh, for Hellhorn particularly. I don't think Awoken Artifacts on average are great, but Awoken certainly are. Or sorry, uh, Hellhorn certainly are. Um, I think I'm feeling this more though. I could, Fire Health's like whatever, but I think I am feeling this more. Uh, if I can just get some health on Animus Will, because right now, one thing about Animus Will is she's pretty dead in the water until you do get some Richness Steel upgrades on her. So let's go ahead and make her useful. Not that we need her for this Talos fight, but like I said, that since we do have a lot of our damage right now on the husk... Oh, perfect, large stone. Actually, <laughs> is this like the same upgrades that we got the other time? Okay, well this is perfect. We're just going to put both of these into her then. I think, yeah. So we'll just put these in. Now she's doing a ton of damage right off the bat, and just even more with the razor sharps. Um, uh, what do we want here? I could see arguments for both. It's probably lower investment to take Trap Shoot. Lower investment in that it's just easier to play. Like, Steel Pulley Claw requires some Ember, some Ember upgrades. I don't think I'm going to be able to spare... Like, I want to get these Razor Sharps down to zero cost if I can, because I want to guarantee they're getting played pretty much every turn. At no cost, really. So I think I'll just take Trap Shoot. It's lower. It's lower cost. Technically lower impact, but you could argue better against bosses. Never sad to have either of those in my deck, honestly. But if I if I can spare Ember upgrades like on cards, I'll typically take the Pulley Claw. Otherwise, just not. So we can play both these here still. We're not going to be able to fit Animus since she has large stone on anyway. We're just going to play her out and and then hope for the hidden ascension, right? Which you know she has some definite like buffer room for her health. Um, should I put this? Here? I'll put it here just to chump block like one shot for the Animus, I guess. So you're guaranteed, by the way, uh, to to draw a banner at every turn. So I knew I would get her turn two for sure. Uh, we might as well put the scaling on her for now. 
Um, we can save the rest of this. Um, and then with any luck we'll get Hidden Passage before too long. Let's go ahead and save damage on her if we can. Uh, it's best served by just killing those backline units and putting a steward in front right now. Might as well put Glimmer down here. Um, very good card. Let's do this, and I guess this doesn't really save us anything. I guess we'll just do that. Alright, there's that hidden passage, and let's just heal this guy. I don't care about the haste. Let's go ahead and bring him up, whatever. We have so much damage on our uh, backliner. So, as you can see, by the way, Animus of Will. I think I recall in your posts that you kind of didn't like Animus of Will. It, it could also be that you just weren't aware of kind of how to use her. Like, as you can see, her damage is insane here. She's by ring three already doing over 100 damage per wave, right? Like, she's doing uh, almost 200 damage. So, definitely, once you know kind of the, f you know, she sucks without any upgrades, right? You need to get some health upgrades, you need razor sharp edges, or, you know, steel enhancers are fine on her too. Um, rage is fine on her, but the, the primo primo is razor sharp edge. So now she's doing over 120 damage. Um, yeah, things are looking good. I could trap shoot here just to be a dick, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. And not much needed here. But you know, I don't know. Maybe maybe you already experienced this because I believe you said you stomped the run and just like the only thing really giving you troubles was the. Uh, Um, whatever you call it, the Seraph. Hmm. So I could take Wildwood Tome. That's pretty good. It's generally pretty good. I mean, I... I could put it on the Hus, and then, then I don't need the Glimmer on holdover technically. I could also put it on Animus of Will. Like if I end up finding my Glimmer uh, thing that I need, I could then just put this on Animus of Will and like kill tanks before they get me. It's probably not going to be spreading spores. I mean technically I do need sustain right now which I don't have. Um, but it's just such a bad card I feel. It's like so Especially after the double stack nerf. So you have to double stack it. I'm already looking for to spend gold on a holdover upgrade on Glimmer. I don't know if I like Quick either. Um, just because, like I said, even with the 20 damage, 3 sap a turn adds up fast, and I don't really want to spend... If I start putting Razor Sharp Edges on Husk instead of Animus of Will, that's probably going to be a losing game plan. This might just be a skip. I could... The spike sucks too, uh, but I could maybe see arguments for it. Not really though, I think this is just a skip, honestly. Uh, so these could all fill like the tank role. I don't think they fill it better than my current tank does, Husk Hermit. I was kind of hoping I would get an Awoken, I guess, but whatever. Uh, Wilting Sapwood, like, you know, its starting health is still just the same as Husk's. Um, the Revenge is, in my opinion, kind of irrelevant. I mean, it's it'll make it so you never have problems with energy, but I don't think we're going to have problems with energy anyway. Uh, Deranged Brute... You know, the fledgling imps just aren't really hitting, and all we have is Rage Serum as far as Rage is concerned right now. I mean, if I would have took that spike, I could maybe justify Deranged Brute. But as it stands, all it's doing is delaying my draw to the banner units that I want. So I think I'm just going to skip this. I don't actually need any more banner units right now. I have a good tank. I have a good backliner. That's all I need, really. So it's not going to be pip space. Um, unless I really wanted to play Animus without the need of the uh, Ascend card. 
But I mean, since we have it, there's just no point in pip. So it's really between Ember and Draw. My general rule is when you're in doubt, go Draw. Um, and I'd say I'm not even necessarily in doubt here. I'm pretty sure Draw is just going to be the better choice here. The sooner we can get to our Ascend card, the sooner we can get to our Razor Sharp Edges, the sooner we can get to our Glimmer, the better. That's all we really need to 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 really win. And that doesn't even just apply to Seraph. That really just applies to everything coming up. Uh, let's see. I don't have a whole lot of gold, but if I go this route, I would get extra gold. That would give me another shot at the the holdover and plus 10 damage on Glimmer. Could possibly do that. That's probably the route. I mean, hell, it does suck to give up a Hellvent. I don't know what I'd Hellvent. I could Hellvent Hidden Passage just to get to it faster, but then it's kind of a dead draw after that. I would probably just honestly have Hellvent Razor Sharp Edge. That's like my highest value card at the moment. Just in a general sense. Um, but I think I want... How many Hellvents do I have? Only down here. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think I'd almost rather wait until I get at least an uh, Ember upgrade on the Razor Sharp before um, Hellventing it. So I probably won't do it. I don't really like Hellhorn, like I said. I don't really need it. I can't think of any Hellhorn unit I would just even take at this point. Vortex would be good. I haven't really done any removals yet other than like one steward, but I did take a draw upgrade to help a little bit with consistency, so that's not like super high priority. I think, it, and yeah, the Pyre Hill's wasted here, but I think just holdover hunting is like the way to go here right now. Um, I could also do a weird play where like I make this Rage Serum Eternal Stone. I don't think that's worth it though. Let's see, how much gold do I have? 200. If I reroll for 60, I still need... I think I would do this for now. Um, on Razor Sharp. And I'll reroll for Holdover. I should have... Okay, I didn't get it anyway. I should have maybe actually not done that Ember Stone because it could have been 120 here. It's like from 95 up to 120, I think, is the range. Traps through double stack isn't the worst thing in the world, but I don't think it really solves issues that we need to solve at the moment. Now, this is really good. Plus 10 magic power on Glimmer. So we've got half the Glimmer puzzle solved. We just need to find the Holdover at this point. Uh, so I could purge another card, but I think I just I want as many of these ember stones as possible. Ember stone is honestly like, if you weren't like kind of aware, it's just such a busted upgrade. The fact that you can get it every time, every reroll, and only for 25 gold, you should abuse that as much as possible. Um, so now we got both razor sharps at zero. That's great. Got a little bit of gold left over for the future like uh, shop that. We're hitting here, Merchant of Steel, though I guess we don't actually care there. I guess we could get an extra health upgrade on Husk, that would be good. Um, or a Battlestone, I would take a Battlestone or a health, either one's fine. Um, so... I really want to be putting, I think, my upgrades on Animus Will, so... And there's just not enough health on Brawl. Like, I don't gain health, with, so I can't like use a bunch of Razor Sharp Edges. So I don't think going any additional into Brawler makes sense. Reaper is probably the best here. It gives me the most in initial damage, and then the Slays will allow me to still have the Champ at least contributing a, lit a little bit here. The Champ in this build certainly is not like a carry like it often can be, but... Uh, you you kind of have to make your decision. It's like, is my damage carry going to be Animus or is it going to be Hornbreaker? It can't really be both, right? But I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have Hornbreaker contributing some damage and then Animus is the main focus. Uh, that's fine. And, and it, if there's a weird case where I cannot have my Animus survive or something, Hornbreaker can definitely take a lot of the scaling and just probably at least survive until Seraph. I'll definitely need Animus to be the one that does the damage against Seraph, though. Uh, yeah, we want that gold. We don't need it here, but yeah, we could use it. I could 
always go this route too. It's not like super imperative that I get extra health on Husk. Really what I need right now is like Wildwood Saps or uh, I guess Armor Cards. Armor Cards would actually probably be better. But we'll, we'll want gold anyway. This is not like a hard trial to take. Not for us at least. Like we have so much fire health. Um, really armor just typically just represents fire health. So that sucks that we drew the hidden passage at the start. That means Animus, like I said, this is one of those cases where Animus might just not be able to survive, but... And then the Glimmer actually can't kill these guys because of the, uh, whatever, but we can at least do this. Oh, that doesn't help at all. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> uh, whatever. Whatever. But, uh... Yeah, I guess for now, since Animus isn't going to be fighting, we'll just pretend that Animus... Oh, you know, at least the haste actually helps us here, because it's not like she's going to die or anything. Um, yeah. Do that, I guess. So we'll just have to try our best to... I guess we want to scale you for now, huh? There we go. That takes care of all that. Uh, I guess put the rage there, no reason really not to. Put in some damage there. Um, I could save some damage. I mean, my husk is getting kind of hurt here, which kind of sucks. Uh, I could do this. Save a little bit of damage. I could have saved it for the boss too. Maybe that was a better play. And we'll just do that. Hopefully I'm able to kill these guys. Oh, perfect. There we go. Yeah, we're definitely fine now. We don't need to survive many rounds against this guy with this much damage in the back line. Yeah, 200 or so damage per turn. Uh, I guess all we're doing here is healing the frontliner. Not much else to do. Looks like they're dead already, but just for good measure. Do that. Let's see, only like two waves did it take to kill him. Marsh shields should be pretty good here. Um, and flame sucks. Pyro Chomper, I'm not gonna say he sucks, I just don't ever find myself needing to take him. Uh, but Marshall Shields would be pretty good. That'll allow us to have a little bit of flexibility with how we, the order in which we ascend stuff. Um, and it's just some extra armor. Like I said, it kind of helps with the sustain. Uh, restoring would work if we didn't already have ascend. It's pretty at odds with that. Spikes don't really need that. Uh, but Preserve Thorns is really good. Preserve Thorns is just a generally very good card. It's Gives you a bit of damage, gives you a ton of card draw. I mean, it, uh, you know, if you have a card uh, upgrade and another one, which I'm probably going to take another one once I fight Fell or whatever, um, it's a f literal full hand at the turn after you play it. So I don't know, do I want to go here? I feel like card removal is better for me. I don't know though, I don't really want to spend the gold here. Do I really need an extra 20? Because I can't do... I don't think I can do another... Can I do two large stones in husk? I could do that, technically. I think I like the removal better, because both of these are kind of wasted. This would be good, but... I got so much gold. And just making my deck more consistent, I think, is better right now. Get these stewards gone. Eventually I'll start removing these torches. I could also get like a... Oh. Damn, I wish I got this before I did the plus 10 damage upgrade, but... This could be pretty good. Oh no, this could be really good. Now it turns my re glimmer and regens into card draw. Yeah, we're gonna take that. <laughs> I kind of want to purge another card here, but I kind of also just want to keep gold for that next... I, I should keep the gold, because uh, I do want to re-roll uh, for that holdover. Yeah, and we didn't get offered 
gold here, so... But I will take multi-strike here. We got full health. These guys, the only thing multi-strike really does here is represent... I mean, it represents some extra damage on Husk, since these guys will buff him up. But really, it's mainly just the pyre health, which we can use our pyre health as a resource right now, for sure, since it's at full, and we can heal back some of it. Alright, so you go there. You go there. Animus will go here and get moved up. We might as well do this and that, I guess. Alright, Animus, you go there. Do that. That. I need to kill that thing. Alright, I think I'm about... How bad do I want that gold? I think I want it pretty bad. I'm gonna do something silly here. It's fine. Hopefully that was not like too greedy of a play. Okay, we got that now. I can do that. Let's kill you. I don't want any of the damage here coming in. That's pretty good, yeah. I do need to really preserve the health and husk now at this point. Let's do this as much as possible. Uh, we really could use some heals or regen. That's going to be the sticking point right now for this deck. If as I'm pretty confident I'll get hold over eventually. Like I've got Merchant of Magic here, here, and there. That's six rerolls for holdover. I guess it's not guaranteed, but I guess we'll see. I, right now, though, I have... I have a Molting Imp as well. That, uh, maybe I should have hit the Merchant of Steel up to try to get Endless on the Molting Imp. That's like another possibility. Oh well. Um, what do I want to do? Do I want to do any of this? Let's do this. I think that is fine. Uh, Alright. Let's do this first. To heal. Okay, let's do that. That. At least the harvesters of death. I think I want to preserve thorns here versus the armor. I think. Yeah. We get me some more damage in here. That way I can kill all this. Oh shit! That's right. It's the. <laughs> Well, let's hope we didn't fuck anything up here. Yeah, I need to really get some health going on him, like, pronto. Okay, that armor will help. Draw, draw, draw. So... Alright, that's like just enough shit. <laughs> oh, that'll help a lot. Yeah, you just need... When you set up at the top, it's only six stacks you gotta burn through, plus if you can chump... I could have also, I guess, I don't know... I probably could have put some imps down to chump block, I forget exactly. I was kind of pigeonholed in on just healing my frontliner. Or what, tunnel visioned, I should say. It all worked out in the end. That boss can definitely catch you by surprise sometimes, so... I guess... Probably not. It's probably, uh, it's probably worth that, not... The 25 gold. I don't know if I'll actually use this. Oh, branding right, that's really good. <laughs> Already talked about inflame, it sucks. Pretty much never take it. Uh, Impish Scholar honestly kind of sucks too. It If you really need a consumed card, it can work, but it's like a random one, so really not that useful in my opinion. But I guess if you really control your consumed cards that you play, it can be pretty good, but yeah. It can work, I guess, but Branding Rite's just generally a very good card. Oh, nice. Okay, not Bramble Ash, but uh, many spikes. Um, Adaptive Muta. I don't think I have huge reasons to put that in the deck, but Wild would definitely. That's a huge heal. Huge free heal. Hell yes. Um, and uh, also, between that and Glimmer... Uh, my piercing, or what is it, branding right, the 5 damage will be pretty irrelevant, so I'm basically just gaining 20 armor with it. 
I think I still got to go for the hole over. I did get the extra like pyre stone thing, but we've got unstable vortex over here, which is also pretty good. Double stack. I could double stack this. Can I double stack and still reroll and and get hold over and get this ember stone? I don't know. Uh, I can't, but let's do that. I do want to lock that in. Oh, phew. damn! I almost I could have got fucked there too. I I probably I probably sh I don't know. The 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 glimmer on holdover is way more important than the double stack. So I got it there. That's good. It's a good thing I didn't spend the money on the other shit. Um, all right. So we're we're good there. Uh, take that. Don't need it, obviously. Get rid of the final steward. Probably get so we really don't need the torches at all now. Um, now that we got that glimmer on holdover, I, I'm breathing a sigh of relief that we have that glimmer on holdover. That's really the main thing that we have to deal with to to survive against Temperant. Now all we really need to do is, uh, you know, I can get a I can get a reduction on the cost of branding right. Um, Maybe Hell Vent. I think Razor Sharp Edge. I still am a little iffy. Only these as scaling is not great. Can't really use the fledgling imps. The Rage Serum's kind of not huge. Um, would have actually loved, like oddly enough, like a ritual of battle in this uh, fight in this particular playthrough. But that's fine. But I think I will actually Hell Vent Razor Sharp Edge. It's hard to know for sure. I would also like to get this down to a zero cost. So a lot of things I would like to do. Let's do this. Uh, I guess just this. We'll definitely draw pretty quick here. Um, and hopefully get to our whatever you call it. Um, uh hidden ascension sooner than later. I guess there's no real reason for me to do much other than that. And that. Oh, forgot forgot I had this sap tap. I need to remember I need to remember that I have that. Definitely a better a better relic when you remember that you have it. So we'll draw first. Oh, there we go. Let's put you down first. Just get that rage, I guess. And then we'll definitely kill that thing now. Um, how about we do this? Then he's definitely fine. And we, I, uh, I do lose my glimmer on holdover. I don't think that really matters though. I think the extra armor here is just a-okay. I don't really need glimmer for this fight, particularly. In fact, it just allows me to scale out to my other stuff quicker, so it's almost better. Uh, not really any reason to play much else here. I can do that to draw, I guess. I can give him as much armor as he wants. I'll just stack the regen. Not like I can really stack much regen with just the basic cards here. Let's do this, uh, this, this, that. Definitely gotta get rid of these torches. They're kind of burning a hole in my ass here. Like, if I can get rid of these torches, that's just even more razor sharp edges I'm able to play. We'll do that. Is there anything worth hidden ascensioning? Not really. Just do this then, yeah. This will be a pretty easy fight. I have a lot of damage. Draw. I don't know. Just do whatever, I guess. I did lose all my armor. That kind of sucks. 
die Irre. Speak of the Devil. Definitely do that. Um, I could do this now, just to get one stack of dazed for this upcoming fight. Let's do that. That. Oh yeah, we're we're already golden. Yeah, whatever. Oh. End of that fight. So, I don't like Channel Song. My playstyle, I, I typically don't take a lot of banner units, even when I'm building like super floors. Um, I generally think just consistent draw early to the high impact banner units is good and channel song on average since you're guaranteed to draw banner units you know turn one turn two etc yeah on, on average you don't draw it in time to be able to play it and actually get one of your banner units with it uh, so I really don't like it um, if I'm being honest uh, I guess it could be okay with some imps here to turn them into like a makeshift backliner that I could add but that's not really that good against Seraph, the Temperant, because eventually 20 damage, it's only a few ways for that to go down to zero and just never be relevant again. Adaptive Mutation, I just don't see any good reasons to add that to this deck. Uh, it's really good on Awoken Hollow. I don't know if I mentioned that already, but... Reinforce. If I had better armor, I only have Branding Right as armor generation and March of Shields. Um, it's a bit much to be able to spend that ember uh, and play it, so I don't typically think it's very good um, unless you really have some serious armor generation. And if you do, you typically don't need it anyway. I'm leaning toward not taking it, though maybe it is a win condition for me, I don't know. Let me think. Branding right. I just don't think it's... It's basically never doing more than Branding Wright's already doing, so I think I'm just going to skip it. Sucks. And I could take Ember. It would make playing Branding Wright easier. That's about it, though. Everything else is like zero cost. As it often is in my strategies, like I said, just abuse the hell out of that 25 gold Ember upgrade. So we'll just take card draw. Just be able to get to our cards faster is the ideal thing here. Oh uh, man, Hellvent. I don't have much gold at, uh, either here, so Hellvent could be pretty good. And a, just a free artifact. Because like here, it's like I would just abuse the Ember upgrade on Branding Right. That's about all they would do. And maybe Preserve Thorns. Nothing else really. I think now it's possibly time just to Hellvent our. Impsicle. Is Impsicle good here? Impsicle is typically a decent. But, I don't know if it's very good here. Uh, I don't have... I would rather have extra Ember. I would like to have the both of them together, actually. Both of them together would be great, but... I'll just do this. Have my units cost zero is, is decent. I can get these... I can consume these Imps out of the deck pretty much free of charge as well. So I can focus on removing these torches at the Vortexes and Shops. I really want to Hellvent this Branding right, but I don't know. Um, I kind of... Am I taking... So I only have one more floor after this. This Hellvent. Am I taking this Hellvent, or am I taking this Merchant of Magic? I feel like I want to take the Hellvent. I, defense isn't my issue right now, though. I think it's... Glimmer provides me a lot of defense. Branding right provides me a lot of defense. I have a very pretty good health plus Kermit. I think I think Razor Sharp Edge is what I need to duplicate here. Just to get that damage. Like I said, the sap can be freaking brutal. I, I you know, without watching your runs, I don't know exactly what happened, but I wouldn't be surprised if like your units just got sapped beyond repair, right? Um we'll just keep on the Reaper path here. Just get that natural scaling to Hopefully have that unit still be providing some value, even though it's not a main focus of the deck in this particular deck. 
Uh, let's see. Um, that's pretty brutal with a frickin' sweeper, though. I'll be able to heal it back with Glimmer. Hornbreaker will die. I have armor too. Um, I feel like I can take this. It's a br it's pretty brutal with frickin' pyre wings, though. Um, this boss can be tough. Uh, what do I do here? I'm also I don't know the if I'm ember drained often. Can't play the branding right. Can't even play the glimmer really. I actually almost want my hornbreaker to die in this particular fight. It might be the might be the play. I don't know. Maybe not though. I don't think I take this. Um, hmm. I feel, so, I would say you'd be fine to skip here. I just, I think, I, I feel like I can take this. I don't know. It's a lot of gold. I don't need the gold as a thing. It would just help with artifacts, which I may or may not need. Um, the Ember Drain will be brutal, kinda. At least I have a lot of zero-cost stuff I can play. On bus units eight. I think I can. I don't know. Can I deal with this? I don't think I can deal with this. Oh shit! I put it on, didn't I? Fuck. Well, guess we're gonna find out. Hopefully, this isn't like what ends the run here. Oh, that's brutal to get the hidden passage now. <laughs> sucks. Well, I'm still gonna do this. Maybe this is good. Maybe it will allow me to... Hmm. It's almost beneficial for me to actually move this up this turn. Is it? I'm gonna do it. Oh, I should have done that first. Ugh, I keep fucking that up. Oh wow, I can already kill this. Okay, this is actually good. Um, I want the Ember Drain this turn. Uh, just kidding. Just, okay, I don't want it this turn, but uh, I guess I get it this turn. That's fine. Um, oh shit, that's a lot of damage. Holy fuck. Um... I should have played that first. Well, we'll do this. I really need to draw, draw, draw. So I'll block these two attacks and hopefully kill all this shit. I'll keep the. I'll probably need to keep that for the boss. I don't know. Just do that, I guess. Let's do that. I mean, we do want to scale him after all. doing this to draw, I guess. Damn, I really gotta get rid of some of these basics. Fuck. Preserved would have been great. Well, we can at least do this, I guess. Yeah, that works. Um, well, let's scale the fuck out of this guy. Draw. Draw fuckloads. Alright, we're killing all this at least. I, it's good that I'm not like getting massively ember drained here. I'll have glimmer on holdovers, so this doesn't scare me too much up here. Damn, uh, really bad luck with drawing the spraining right. Well, that glimmer should save us a lot here. Um, Play that to play it, I guess. Damn, we really gotta get to this hidden passage. Uh, 
I'm still gonna put the armor here because I'm gonna need it for the boss fight. I'm gonna keep this. We're gonna. Eh, it's fucking shitty. Okay, let's do this. Still keep that scaling going. I guess I'm gonna do this to heal. No, no, I'm not. I'm gonna do this. Oh shit, I could've got the draw. Whatever, I'm gonna keep going with the armor here. Let's do this. Okay, at least I'm killing all this shit. So I totally did take on this trial, just no problem. That's good. Uh, well, I don't want to speak too soon. It did cause me to not really get much armor in. Fucking this dude, look, literally, this fucking... Oh, this fucking Ember Drain literally Ember Drain me every time. It's fine. Uh, potentially it's not fine, I mean, I don't know. Like, I need to chunk through a lot of damage here. Okay, this is clutch. Looks like we killed him anyway, though. Clutch to get that healed then, I would say. Um, and then we got this, so... Perfecto. I'm feeling pretty good about the Seraph fight, if we could have... If we could beat that fight, honestly. I don't think the Seraph fight would be any harder. Um, ooh, alloy, ooh. That could be a lot of extra free armor. I don't like the other ones. I could take this. It's a pretty good, just generally good card. Ooh, Pyre Grow. Ooh, Focus Growth. Um... Pyrogro... Do I have enough draw to justify Pyrogro? Do I need Pyrogro? Maybe. I could see Pyrogro being good. Um, it would allow me to play Branding right. What am I doing at the next... Am I going Merchant of Magic? If I go Merchant of Magic, Branding right could be a lot easier to play. I feel like I need to take advantage of this Merchant of Steel, though. I got those upgrades. In light of that, maybe... Maybe Pyrogro will just allow me to play the Burning Rite more reliably. And just other things. I have a lot of card draw. I think I, it's, it's justified. And I guess we're going this route. Oh, man, the Unstable Vortex would be nice. I think I just need... I do need another Razor Sharp Edge, though, I think. It, it, you really do... Can't underestimate how fucked that sap shit is. Ooh, I like Emblem Exile. Ooh, Railhammer. I think Emblem Exile probably gives me more defense, though. Because it's only once per application that that armor applies. So, yeah, probably Emblem... I'm probably getting this for sure. I could see Priory's Cloak being good, too. Let's see what extra upgrades we can get here. Ooh, quick. Damn. I don't know, I don't know. I think I just want extra health on the husk. What if I get multi-strike? I would want to maybe hold out on that for Will. I guess I don't want any of these upgrades, so I'm just gonna reroll. Do I want the additional large stone on husk? Or do I want it on animus of will? Hmm. Damn, it sucks we didn't get the extra health. If I get it on the Animus of Will, it gets me more... Man, I should've just put the plus 10 damage on her. I guess I'll put it on Husk, just get a really good frontliner. Um, I could put spikes on her to whatever, and... Rage, sure, just initial damage mitigation. I could... Oh, fuck, I could... 
Actually, even Hellventing the Animus is not a good idea here, because the sap on one of them, the one that I'm not upgrading a lot, they'll eventually do no damage. So I think this... Actually, Priory's Cloak... I'll take both of them, fuck it. They're both good enough um, to justify. So I could Hellvent the Branding right, or I could just Hellvent Razor Sharp Edge. I think it's Razor Sharp Edge, ironically. I have a lot of heal. I've got now double large stone on what's his name. Um, yeah, let's do it. I'm feeling pretty good. I feel like I've overcompensated preparing for this fight just to show you kind of the steps, I guess, of what I would take to do it. That extra large stone does kind of make this weird, though, but... Yeah, whatever. We can do... Do I want him in front? I probably still want him to survive, right? I don't need him to survive. Alright, let's heal somebody just to get a card draw here. Damn it. Alright, let's start doing this. Um, hopefully we can get a... I, I, I'm just not caring about Her Hornbreaker Prince here. Like I said, he's kind of tertiary. Really all I need is this Animus of Will to be beefy and doing a lot of damage. That's really it. Um, I guess there? I don't know. So we didn't get to the Glimmer yet, or the Ascend. Holy fuck, that's a lot of damage. Okay, um... Let's move you down. Can't kill you before you attack us. Sucks. Do I... Yeah, let's try to keep him alive, I guess, for now. Oh, this is good. So now I can survive another turn before getting, uh, whatever you call it. I could just do this for now. Um, get some more heal there. Alright, we really need to draw into some of our, uh, priority cards here, though. Well... This is not too bad. Um, we'll do this, this, Kartra, should have actually done it up here. I, I am, I do need to get some, some defense going on that guy. I guess I'll wait on that guy. I don't want to give this guy an extra stack if possible. Gotta get that glimmer though. It's pretty imperative right here. Alright, we got this. This is really good to draw on the same term as Preserved Thorns. Ooh, and this is really good. So we're gonna do this. I'm gonna bring her up first since she is priority here. Ah, oh, shit. I could see argument for bringing him up first though, for the Seraph fight. Uh, no, I'll bring her up first. And uh, we'll play that. I want to keep the damage going on her. Let's save damage there. Uh, 129. That'll give him some extra damage. I'm probably just going to have to have him die. We'll find out. Okay, I'm gonna keep scaling going there. I'm gonna keep the armor there. I do need to really try to get this guy to live though. He's actually putting in a decent amount of damage. So 
So he still lives, that's good. That means I can put this in here. I do want to keep stacking as much armor on the frontliner as possible. And just put a... F uh, I'm really glad I hellvented those things so I can just get a fuckload of damage going on the Animus. Should my Hellhorn die, which he very well may, it just really depends on if I can draw back to, you know, that one card in time. So he'll still survive here. Um... Let's see, do I want to put, I still want to put armor on the frontliner, I think. I could chump block here, that's essentially as good as whatever the other thing would have been. Keep the scaling going there. I guess I'll put some regen in there. Nothing too groundbreaking there. Keep this going. He's still alive. Keep the scaling here. Let's get the armor keeping going. I think we're pretty good here. Actually, I should put these in down here. Yeah, we're definitely going to be good here. And we got to this in time. Perfect. And we'll keep scaling here. Uh, get your health back up. Keep the scaling going that and there you have it that's seraph dead on that seed uh, so remember hopefully hopefully it's not I don't know hopefully I did a good job of explaining what I've done this run um, you know we had pretty good overkill here we had I can't, overlap I don't know if we have 400 or 100 armor there but anyway we were definitely not even taking any damage to our HP here you can see so we had a lot of overkill and serif. This would have definitely won Covenant 25 as well, you know, so uh, hopefully this helps. It, it, if you're stomping through the game, really think, did you prepare for serif enough? Like, uh, as you can see, I really had to go hard on the razor sharp edges there um, to get the proper amount of, you know, sap uh, reduction and whatnot. So. Uh, yeah, hopefully that's helpful. Um, you know, don't feel too bad about getting stuck. Like, we all... I've freaking got stuck at Covenant 25. Or uh, at Covenant 20 or so. Like, right around where you're at. I remember getting stuck there. Um, and, you know, eventually you pick up these things and they help you crush it. Uh, and eventually you'll be doing 30-run 30, 30 win streaks on uh, Covenant 25. So, uh, yeah, until next time. Peace.